Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make awesome pen effects with your levels and many other stuff in Scratch. So if you really want to see how to do this then don't forget to like, subscribe and share and let's get on with the video. So let's say you have a level over here. So I'm just going to quickly design one say part of a platformer i might be doing a platformer tutorial lately so i'm just going to make a small level for example with some shapes ceiling anything you'd expect and then i'm going to set the backdrops to this nice bluish color oh, that seems a bit too blue yeah that seems good so now let's go to this sprite and let's call it level as you've probably already called it now to make a shadow, basically, you need to open this extensions, and this would be very useful, the pen extension. So, put a when green flag is clicked, and in the pen, put an erase all, and make a new block named stamp shadow, with add an input for number and, number and text, and call this amount and then press the run without screen refresh which is very important and press ok so put this somewhere else for now and let's put the number say 8 under stamp shadow which makes it pretty accurate and then basically let's set our brightness effect to minus 100 which means everything becomes black so now the entire screen would become black Let's then set ghost effect to 90, which would make it a very light shade of grey. And then, after that, we'd like to change Y by, say, minus 20. Then the stamp leaves it on the screen, so you'll have a shadow on the screen. Then we can change Y by 20 to go back up to the normal position and then clear graphic effects, which means everything will be back to normal, but a stamp version of the level will be on screen. And as you can see, a shadow has appeared, which looks really cool, but it's still not enough. So to make this even better, you can add for motion, set rotation style, don't rotate, and then repeat 10 and replace this for the amount variable in the pink custom block. And then duplicate this, and then remove the ghost effect, um, remove change Y, and then put everything in. And of course, you don't want to repeat inside the repeat, so remove that. The don't rotate, you don't really need it, but um, this is what you'd be needing. So, put a turn, and then put a divide here. And put 360 divided by the amount so basically it'll decide how much to turn by so this in this case will be we'll have 10 and 360 divided by 10 is 36 so every time it'll keep turning by 36 degrees so it's a perfect calculator and then over here put a move three steps and over here put a mi move minus three steps so it'll move forward and backward and if, you, if this worked correctly it should make an outline around the entire level which is so cool so if you really want to use this then sure it's used in many pen effects levels if you want it to be thicker then put maybe say move 10 steps and move minus 10 steps here too so you can see that's a much thicker border, and you can see there's some weird pixels here. If you want to fix that, then simply just increase this number to say 100, and it'll be more accurate. So you can see now it's smoothed out a lot. So thank you guys for watching this video, and if you really liked it, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.